What's up, man? You rocking with your boy, the expert bowler at Expert Bowler Gaming, man. Y'all know what time it is, man. Y'all see where we at. We at the airport. I'm finna get on this aeroplane. About to go ahead and bowl uh, the Nationals. So, I know I told y'all I was going to try to do a little vloggy vlog. So, man, <laughs> safe travel. We finna be wheels up on our way to fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. We own the plane. We ready to rock and roll. We ready for war. Y'all see the mask. We camoed out. We got our beats matching our shirt. You know what I'm saying? What Mr. Organic say? Is my beats matching my shirt? Or is my shirt matching my beats? I don't know. You tell me. Hey, man. But we on our way, man. We about to get it in. Uh, we about to try to go throw some strikes, y'all, man. I'll be back. All right. So we landed. Got straight off the airplane into the trap. Turo. This Turo man had a hundred thousand miles and a nail in the tire. We had the Turo special. And the first thing you do when you get to Vegas is you relax. You know, when you're doing a bowling tournament, man, you gotta always take an extra day or a little bit of time to figure out something to do. Well, you can relax, man. Do a little shopping. You know what I'm saying? Come out with a bag or two. You got to grab something. Have a good time before you spend all your money at the bracket table. See, this gives you a little incentive to make sure you focus in your bowl well. You go and you grab you a little something to go along for the trip, you know? So, man, when y'all come to Vegas, man, make sure y'all walk around. Y'all check some stuff out. You eat some different stuff, and you have a good time. Y'all want a vlog, I'll give you a vlog. We'll show you how it's done, man. On to the next one. So we decided to go see a show because we had some time to burn. So we went to go see the Blue Man Group. Great show. They pulled a lady from the audience. She was scared as hell. But it was a really good show, man. Y'all should check it out. Yo, what's going on, man? You back rocking with your boy, the Expert Bowler here at Expert Bowler Gaming. <laughs> it's USBC Nationals. Day one. We're going to do a little team bowling today. So we got to go check in, get our lane assignments, do all that little stuff, you know. But I just wanted to check in with y'all before we head out the hotel room. Is your boy looking fresh in the Brunswick get up? You know what I'm saying? Or is the Brunswick get up looking fresh? Oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> we finna get out here, throw some strikes. Um, it probably would have been good to throw some balls and practice, but we kind of, you know, enjoyed our little free time we had yesterday because y'all know when you go to these bowling tournaments, usually it'd be like bowling all day. You don't got a lot of free time. Nationals are a little different because your stuff is um is kind of pre-scheduled. You know what time you're going to bowl. They be on you like you got to bowl right now. Hurry up. Get up on the lane. You can't be playing around. So we're going to go. We're going to check in, do all the little stuff. We're going to holler at all the ladies and fellas that's going to be bowling with us. And we're going to see who on the teams. And we're going to have a good time man stay tuned if it's your first time going to a tournament man you got to get there a little early so you can check in you can do what you got to do maybe you do this before the tournament you know or maybe you do it after you check in at nationals i just go check in drop my balls off in the tournament office uh not tournament office but the uh little check-in spot or whatever they call it and then uh you know we're off to get something to eat so we had one of our favorite little spots in south point i never know the name of this little place but we always in here, we always eat here. It's just kind of like a tradition, uh, kind of good luck. So we gonna take a look at this menu. We gonna get us some good food to eat. And man, we gonna try to go throw some strikes. Let's go. Oh yeah, just got us some foodie, 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 foodie. Thank you so much for coming. About to smash this little breakfast, y'all. We go. You ain't never been to Nationals, man. I give y'all a little sneak peek of what it looked like when you first come off the escalator. So when you first come off the escalator, you'll walk up a little bit. And then we got all the booths. So we got Global 900, Storm, right? So they got a booth. And in the booth, they fully stocked with all that normal little stuff. Then we got the best booth. It's in here, Brunswick booth, 
Brands of Brunswick, y'all already know what time it is. We got all the brands, man. Brunswick, Hammer, Columbia, Track. You know, you know how we do, man. We got it all. Then they got the little USVC booth. Uh, they got all the little merchandise for the Open Championships and all that. Uh, you know, if you want to get you some souvenirs, you know, they got all the Open Championship merch. Then they got a motor, motor booth. For all the people who like motor, you know, y'all be following EJ. Then they got some little private vendors. All right. But then they also got past winners and scores and a little spot where you can check your scores and see how you did. You can see if you got money coming and all that. That's a little computer. So it's like the little past winners for the open championships. And then they got these little computers over here. They got these little computers over here where you can check your little stuff out. But I see some people I think I know. I'm going to come over here and say what's happening to my extended family. What's good, man? My man. Yeah, that expert bowler. That senior. Expert bowler. Man, y'all know what it is, man. Expert bowler in the building with my dad and my brother. Yeah, man. That's what it is. That's 20 years strong, man. Yeah. For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. This is what the bowler look like. It's in uh, Las Vegas right now, in South Point Hotel, Convention Center. Uh, they got a little stand set up where you can sit if you're spectating. So a little different than your normal average bowling tournament. So they got a little stand set up for all of the spectators. If you want to get your stuff recorded, you can pay them to record. They send it to you at the end, which I think is kind of stupid. But uh, that's what they do now. I wish they would let me record my own because my stuff is probably better than their stuff and I could probably have, you know, my live stream like I usually do for y'all. But uh, that's what the, the stadium looked like. Over here, they got like a little snack bar where you can get you some little snacks and all that. And then, uh, you know, if you want to set up your little photography, USB-C, you got the little booth going so you can get your little photography stuff on but if y'all ain't know man there's a lot of pomp and circumstance with the whole like usbc national thing it's not really like any other turn where you just go to your lanes and you do your thing so we go in through these little special doors right here and they make you check in and uh they got like a little weight station and you weigh your balls and you do all that stuff so i mean it's kind of different they take like team photos so you can buy the team photos or whatever. They take a photo of all the teams that bowl, then they solicit you and be like, come on, do you want to buy it? If you uh never been here before, here yeah, I'll flip it around and I'll show y'all. You come in, they weigh your balls. Well, they really don't weigh them no more. They used to weigh them, but uh, now they just kind of like check the weight holes or whatever to make sure you don't have the weight holes. And then uh, they got like the little dance where they do awards and all that good stuff. So they'll do award presentations and all that before we bowl. They'll talk about like past winners and everything that's going on. They got like a little podium up there. And then the little area where you sit, you sit organized by like your lane number. And uh, that's kind of how it's done. Then they got like, it's a little long line right now to make sure everybody can play their little brackets and jackpots. So that's like the little pot table. Now we're going to take us a little team photo. So I got to get in the line and take the team picture. And uh, we'll sit for the little presentations. And then sit for the little presentations and then we'll both. All right, y'all. So this is what we be having to go through when we come to national. We got to listen to dude talk. We gonna talk about the past people who won, the past people who did good, the people who come every year for all these years. I might know a few people who come a lot of years in a row, and they'll probably get some things. I might try to shoot some footage of that, so y'all can check it out. But then, you gotta come, and you gotta stand in this long line, to try, to play, them jackpots. So if you wanna play jackpots, that's how the jackpots work. You fill it out, you pay your money, you stand in the line. Hopefully you win, hopefully you don't lose. Be like that sometime. But uh, we'll try to see if we can check out the people we know that's getting awards, and then uh, I'll be back. All right, man, so this the moment of truth, man. They doing the line where they walk out and everybody go out. So we finna grab our balls and we gotta walk. See, I got my bowling balls down there. We gotta go. 
Let's go. All right, y'all. So it's your boy, the expert baller, man. Y'all know who it is. This is a little recap from day one. So I feel like today was a decent day. I always struggle during team at some point, whether it's the first game getting off to a very slow start or the second game missing the transition. Usually I always have a decent third game. But yeah, I just got off to a super slow start. I played the lanes bad for the people who were on my pair and kind of where, they're, where they started. I started off like a little too far to the right, throwing a weaker ball, like my benchmark ball for the day. And, uh, I mean, I guess I paid for it, right? So I bowled terrible my first game, and then my back two games, I was 100 over. But it just it just sucks, you know, to, like, have a slow start when you could have had, like, a really good score for all events for team. Uh, I ended up with 660, but uh, it just kind of sucked. But that's all right. We bowl in the morning, you know, day two. We'll try to get some good scores for singles and doubles and try to get a check. Um, if y'all want to know how the balls worked out, I think that the balls worked out okay. I bought the knockout, which is what I started out with, kind of to the right. I had a really good look on the left lane, not so good of a look on the right lane. And then um, was throwing it bad. I wasn't really throwing it great. I was throwing it pretty good on the left lane, not really so good on the right lane. Everybody was playing in. Uh, we bowled with a team full of our companion team. We didn't have like a companion team this year. We usually do. But we bowled with a team. And they had like all new bowlers. And um, they were just playing in and pretty much everybody was playing in. And I was the only one trying to play out, which, as you know, I talk about this all the time. Like, it's not going to work. If, if everybody on the lane is playing in and you playing out, you're just going to bowl bad, right? So that's what happened. I bowled bad. I moved in with everybody else, and then my scores, I beat everybody like the back two games. We ain't going to trip. Hopefully, we don't get beat up too bad in the brackets and jackpots. They were like, it was going to take four hours to pay out, and I just, I wasn't waiting four hours, so I left. So we got something to eat and kind of, we'll try to slide back through there and see what's going on, but... We'll see, but we'll give y'all a little recap of day two tomorrow, and we'll talk about like our whole national experience when I get home, and that'll be it. So you can't go to Las Vegas without walking the strip. So we walked the strip a little bit, checked out the fountain at the Bellagio for the little water show. They show it like every 15 or 30 minutes or something like that. If you've never been, go check it out. Then all that walking got us hungry again. So we had to eat. All right, y'all. What's going on, man? Sometimes it's good times. Sometimes it's bad times. I don't know if this is a good time or a bad time, but it is hella early in the morning. We got to go to the bowling alley. Seven in the morning, we had to bowl. So it is a crispy 6 a.m. Vegas is sleeping. Because ain't nobody really up at this time. I feel like the strip kind of died like mm, four o'clock. Four. Nobody outside after five, basically. But uh, we was up at five thirty. Make it bowl now. Bowl at seven. Woo! Now we about to start bowling. Singles and doubles. Seven o'clock in the morning. Damn, it's early. We're gonna try to throw some strikes. I'm stiff. I'm, I'm, I'm stiff. Ooh, I, I can take a nap. I need some food. My brother can use some water. It's rough out here. So, we just got done bowling singles and doubles. Uh, Bowled all right. I did, not so hot for doubles, but a little bit better for singles. Um, it's just early in the morning, man. That 7 a.m. was early. So I had 660, 660, 560 maybe? 580, 560 or 580 for doubles. I think uh, I bought the right balls. I don't feel like I the balls is really an issue that much. I feel like today they played a little harder than they played yesterday. I feel like the pattern was a little shorter today maybe. My ball was a lot harder off the spot game one could have just been though because we were the first ones to bowl um, but I do feel like in the morning our balls were like just sparking off the back end which is always terrible I tried to throw a stronger ball so that my ball would be smoother down lane which kind of worked but then I got some carry down and I couldn't get my ball back around the corner probably because I was throwing such a strong early rolling ball 
So I balled down. And my ball started coming around the corner a little bit more, but I had to throw it a little slower. Then I balled down again, and then my, my reaction got a little bit better. And that ball that was like really, really flippy and off the spot and way too angular, you know, game one, game two, uh, game four was, you know, kind of perfect. So it's always a good experience. Uh, I feel like if you really don't have success, you just got to make good shots and you got to work together as a team to like break the lane down. Overall, I don't think we did too terrible. Not quite where we need to be to be competitive to win. But it's always a good time. Hopefully we can get out of next year. Hopefully we get a decent check back at least. Uh, I feel like the they're playing softer than they've played a lot of previous years. So hopefully, you know, I bowl good enough this year where I can cash and get a check. So if you never bowled USBC Nationals before, man, you got to come out and you got to do it. It's always a good time. It's a good event. Uh, you learn a lot. You get to, you know, participate in the national tournament. You know, test your skills. Not really like, you know, bowling like the PBA or anything or like the high-level amateur events. Because it's a lot of people of all different skill sets. You'll have like teams of people who just like normal, everyday folks that come down and bowl. And it's first timers and all types of crazy stuff. So I think that's what makes like nationals a little different. It's not like most of the tournaments you bowl where you bowl against the more competitive side, you know? I mean, you are um, bowling against everybody in the end, right, of the tournament but you also get to compete against the people that's on your squad. So if you got a squad with like a bunch of newbies, you get the bowl and you can make some money. You got a squad with like a bunch of killers, you know, you got to bowl good to make some money. So I think that that's, you know, part of the allure and appeal of uh, nationals. Uh, so if you haven't bowled USBC nationals, you know, try to make it out and try to bowl. Okay, since it was cold as hell and we bowled bad, you know we had to get something to eat before we went back to turn in the trap to a row and get on the best airline in the planet. I fly SWA. Mm -hmm.